Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer. And you are the lovely Julia. <laughs> Supposedly. You are. Oh, um, we're on a quest for England. We'd started a, a while ago a little series, like so many mini series that we start and then somehow forget about them. Um, villages along the A24, which is a road that goes up to London from Worthing. And now it's a very busy road. But this is our third in the series. We went to Finden. If you're starting at Worthing, that's a town, obviously. You go to Finden, then there was Washington, and now we're in Ashington. But we're a little distance from the High Street because we're standing outside St. Peter's and St. Paul's Church, which is a very interesting old church that yeah. up until we were going to do this video, I'd never seen before. <laughs> um, because the old route that I used to drive when I was much younger um, on the high street is sort of that way. Um, and I've never driven past this, so I just wanted to have a quick look because this must be the oldest part of the village. Yeah. Because, you know, it's an old church. I think the church dates back to something like the 14th century. So not, but there was a Saxon settlement here, just as there was at Washington. Yeah. So, we're going to not go in the church or do any of that no. nonsense today. We're just going to walk up to the main high street yeah. and then circle round past the Red Lion pub to where there used to be a water mill. Ooh. It's gone. <clears throat> it's all gone. So we're just strolling up Church Lane now. Um, I think it's Church Lane or Church Road or something uh, from the high street. We're going back towards the high street and Ashington's a strange old place because it was very much a tiny little rural nothing really um, but it did have its own bakers, grocers, all the things that you would expect an old village to have. Yeah. Pretty much all of those things have gone. There is a co-op I believe, there is one or two pubs that may be debatable um, and it's pretty much now a commuter village. But look at this, you get the elements of older properties here on the side. This, uh, what must have been, I think, an old barn. It looks Perhaps like it could have farm. been stables. So pretty much around here is just lots and lots of um, new houses and new builds. And that's pretty much, as far as I can see, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way. In a way, it reminds me a little bit of Lansing with all the uh, bungalows. And the, the two up, two downs. We are now on the main thoroughfare, which I'm looking northwards now, which goes, um, you know, if you were to follow that up towards Horsham, up that way. Now, you used to be able to before the A24 came in, you'd drive, this was it, you'd have to go through this village. Yeah. And it was um, a right old pain because um, it was slow and I can't remember if there were traffic lights or something, but you'd, you know, you'd had some sense of getting somewhere and then, you know, it's like before a bypass is in, yeah. you've got to slow and wait for people to cross the road and all of that. Let's just keep going down this way. In the distance there, you've got the South Downs and you probably just about see Chantonbury Ring I imagine on the top there which is rather lovely to have that as your view. I noticed back there there was a blacksmith cottages, this forge house but they're all new builds. They are all new builds and that's the uh, that's the sad part that you Do know you, you have to sitting on the places where those things were or they may just well been named. That, yes. yes well I do know for one thing there used to be a turnpike a toll house here yeah. somewhere up the road I think it's further down that way and that's where it used to be but I believe right up that way is Turnpike Lane so they've got the lane name in the wrong place yeah well we've got Tollgate House uh, Cottage there ah now Smith close here it's like they've still got the names of the places mm. but we don't know if they're in the, the right place they're, and we've spotted as we walked up some elements of older buildings mm. but not really very many no. so um, 
but we're coming really now into the other part of the older part of the village past this Georgian looking building which is Morway's flooring and then the pharmacy and ahead of us we have the Red Lion pub which um, I think we'll just skirt through I imagine that this um, I think I read that the Red Lion pub was a coaching inn I think when the turnpikes came in yeah. and the roads were improved and stagecoaches would stop here on their way presumably as the first leg to London yeah yeah, does look very much like a coach house, doesn't it? We've got what looks like must have been the barn, barn the stables, or the stables on the other side. Yeah, it's a very beautiful pub. I love the uh, the hanging tiles. It's very grand and majestic. I'm going to leave the main thoroughfare, which actually, although it carries on south that way, I don't think the original road did that. I right. think it. Um, went back towards Whiston, which oh. is uh, at the bottom of Chantonbury Ring. Yeah. So I don't think it went immediately to Washington. I'm not 100% sure. Someone can correct me on that. So once again, we're just now, we're moving uh, westwards down past all these new buildings. But the, uh, this was down here and to the left, I believe, where the water mill was and there was a mill and there was some form of uh, mill pond but I think it's all completely gone. So I'm let's just go left down that way because I just want to see if there's any remnants of um, the, the mill and the mill pond. What's fascinating, we're still filming in March mm. and there is spring everywhere. Yep, magnolias, the cherry that cherry blossom yeah. Cup, it's quick yeah. No, it's cherry, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful to see all the wonderful colours. I don't know about you, but I can't only smell spring on the air, but I actually have a glimpse of summer on the air. Is that yeah. crazy? Well, I can't smell anything because I've got a bit of a bunged up nose at the moment. <laughs> so I'm hoping, and I haven't looked down here, but I'm hoping that there is some elements of the, the stream or the mill pond or something it's not looking too hopeful though, is it? It's not looking hopeful at all. Oh, I can hear all. water. Yes. Here we go. So somewhere around here was the site of the old mill. And there is the stream. So we've sort of found evidence. I wonder if we can just whiz around that way there's a public footpath there let's just have a look around there good idea past all these trees and just see I knew it was somewhere around oh no we can't get anywhere or can we well, wait a minute maybe up here I wonder if this is the footpath uh, not not too sure now whether we're on a footpath or just trespassing. But there, down there, more of the stream. Want to take a dip? No. Sure. Not at the moment. No, <laughs> don't push me in. So yes, that somewhere here there was the, the mill was sighted and it would have of course ground corn using the water. Yeah. So it's nice to have found that bit of bit of history, but mostly Ashington now. I think also um, it was alleged that it was named either from the Saxon or because of the plentiful ash trees that were here. But pretty much um, all the history of the place is gone, and there's so little to mm. show for it. But if you know different, do let us know. I do wonder if there is any sort of vague connection to Ashington of Northumberland. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Very quick whiz out at the moment because everyone's supposed to be locked down because of the coronavirus, but we've braved it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe, become a patron, and we'll see you on another one. Till then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.